Hey you guys, Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Boom Beach. And today we are going to be doing some live rating. You guys know from the previous episode that I am on the journey of mega upgrade push and I am pushing literally everything. Well, by everything, I mean all things offenses because I want to be raiding nonstop and I want to have as many troops as possible in all of my landing crafts or on all of my landing crafts, you know, just whoever who can so as you can see right now all of my landing crafts are level 21 and above there is nothing uh, I guess not 21 all of my landing crafts are level 17 and above I should say so the next push of course is to upgrade them all to level 18 and then of course to upgrade my gunboat to level 21 oh but wait I must first upgrade my HQ, which by the way is currently is only level 20. And at level 21, I will get this cool thing here called Shock Mine, which of course I want, duh. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. I have been raided a few times today. Let me go ahead and grab my diamonds over here. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and do a little bit of my base restructuring and rebuilding. And maybe I'll do a super quick you know, like a fast forwarded uh, HQ20 base design video in the next couple of days. But basically, I just got to rethink it a little bit because I'm getting crushed a ton. But of course, I'm getting crushed by uh, things like tanks and medics. And of course, my favorite Zooka combo here. All things Zooka are super powerful. So, all right, let's jump in and let's do some raiding. We are fully trained up. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and, and get us some treasures. Get us some treasures. Okay. Let's go ahead and start diving for a treasure. Of course, I'm short on um, wood, but you know what? I will take 730,000 in wood any day, every day. Okay, so we're now diving. Let's go ahead and start raiding because we have our supply chest um, slots empty and we can start filling them up today. And hopefully by the end of this video, I can open one of those bad boys up. And uh, yeah, looks like I am taking all things. Why is my reward so small today? My daily reward, am I clicking on the same thing? Okay, I was kind of shocked there for a second. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. And hopefully by the end of this episode, you guys, we are gonna be able to start upgrading something, something super sweet. So this base actually just appeared on my map um, a few days ago, maybe a few, maybe a day ago. And I like the name, like the name, don't like the reward that goes with it, but I think we can take it out pretty easy. And maybe that's why it's called cocky, because it's like, well, you think you can take it out super easy, but I will show you that you're a mistaken child. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear out these bad boys here, and then we'll clear out, or at least attempt to clear out, the uh, rocket launchers in the back and then we will jump in now honestly i could also be doing this with uh, of course uh tanks and medics but you know my opinion they're great they are just so stinking slow and i like to zip and zap you know and get through the attack like super quickly i ain't got time to waste you know what i mean <laughs> no honestly though tanks and medics are super solid and if you guys have your tanks and medics uh, pretty upgraded. I think that's definitely a sweet and safe combo, but I am super impatient. You know that about me. I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. And um, this is just how I roll, you guys. I like my heavy Sunzukas, and there is no shame in that. There is absolutely no shame in that. So let's go ahead and deploy right over here. Let's pop this. And then as we get closer, I will use another one of the shock bombs for this cluster over here. Let's throw some critters to take out the boom mine and we should be in the business. Okay, I'm gonna throw a barrage over here because more or less we're gonna be fine. Oh no, I threw that med kit literally at nothing. Okay, let me patch up the boys over here and let me put everybody over here. And look how cool the smoke looks on the ice base. So, so cool. I loved the update ever since it came out. And uh, come on, guys. It's time to pow pow through this. Um, I lost a few Zookas. I think I've lost like four or five. And hopefully I'm not going to lose any more. And down it goes. Mr. Cocky, you have been conquered. So let's see how many troops we've lost. Definitely lost 
four heavies, three heavies, and like five Zookas or something like that. All right, let's do the calculations. Show me the losses. Four and three, not so bad. Ooh, and we got a prototype, a critical fuse, and we got an ice crystal and a map. So that is pretty great. I cannot complain at all. Let me go ahead and retrain and we're gonna jump in into the next one. And let's see if I've lost any bases. I did lose this one and I checked him out earlier today and um, the base didn't look terrible, but his HQ is like, so far out so if i take this out and that out i can probably just walk up to it um i'm gonna wait until i'm fully retrained though for this one and then we're probably gonna close off this episode with level 55 player by just walking up my zookas right over here no big deal no big deal okay let's go ahead and jump in into another attack you guys and have you seen this um, yes, my war factory is still on the map and I'll try to take her out later. Now, I am recording this ahead of time, you guys, to post a bit later because I will be traveling, as you may remember from my previous episode uh, in Clash Royale where I told you that I'll be away for about a week. I will be in San Francisco and I have all kinds of cool plans while I'm there. Um, I mean, I am there for work primarily, but I will obviously do some cool things too. So if you guys live in the Bay Area and have some cool things to recommend, please do so because every time I go there, I always go for work and I don't end up doing much uh, for fun outside of work. But this time I'll actually have a bit of time. So let me know if you have any recommendations. And I just, did I just waste that? Ah, oh, darn, 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 Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm just like wasting my GBE right here. And I don't even know why I'm throwing it in the spot what is the matter with me what is the matter with me okay you know what i'm just gonna throw them in i'm gonna throw you guys in and you just go in and bring me victory so no really if you guys live in san francisco let me know what cool things there are to do and uh, i would be eternally grateful because like i said i never really get to do any fun things there i always just go and work 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 so yeah, let me know. And in the meantime, we are about to get our second victory point for Riddled and I'm just trying to walk away with minimum casualties because I was just not thinking. I think I was thinking with my back point when I was dropping my troops and doing this craziness here. I definitely did not need to spend all that GBE there in the beginning. I don't really know what the hell was going through my mind. Maybe the party time in San Francisco, but uh, there we are, almost ready to take this out, and what an embarrassment. I have lost so many troops that I did not need to. I don't even know what happened. This is what happens to me when I talk and try to play, and I don't pay any attention whatsoever. But you know what? We got it. It's okay. We lost some troops. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna cry about it? I hope not, because if you are, then come and talk to me. Come and talk to me if you cry about losing Anvil Beach, because there are better things to cry about out there in the world. Well, hopefully you don't have anything to cry about in this world, but, you know, there are some serious other things going on. And if you're crying about Boom Beach, then, well, son or daughter, <laughs> um, don't, don't do that. It's just a game, and it's all for fun, and you should enjoy yourself all the time, every time, and never shed tears about the game. Now, this is coming from someone who threw my phone down on the floor the other night because I've lost so many Clash Royale games in a row. Um, you guys have seen that video where I just like completely lost my, um, my bejesus on me. I was so frustrated. I was like cursing off the camera, of course. I'd never curse on camera, you guys. I would just never do that. But no, honestly, I was cursing like a sailor. I was so pissed. And um, yeah, I like this is coming from someone who, you know, who screams at, at the phone uh, if I lose a video game. So uh, perhaps I'm not the best person to be giving you an advice here. But at the same time, I feel like <laughs> if you're going to listen to someone, listen to me right now about this. So, well, Fearless is now down and I am yet again replenishing my troops. And actually, guys, I have put out an episode not long ago where I finished um, Fearless with zero casualties, just using um, one or two boats of troops. And I basically had a ton of GBE at the time. And so what I did is I walked them up to the HQ and then I shocked everything and just powed through it in no time. So we are three victory points in. Now I'm gonna wait until all my troops are retrained and we're gonna come back and conquer 
this bad boy and get two of our victory points because we're reclaiming. And I'll see you guys in a sec because you know why? Because I'm not spending diamonds on insta training my troops. See you in a second. All right, you guys, so we're all retrained and we are ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and check out what is happening here one more time. I think we can just walk up our troops right over here and avoid the damage from the Doom Cannon and the uh, Shock Launcher and everything else by putting the troops right up here. So let's go ahead and take out the Rocket Launcher over here, Rocket Launcher over there and take out some of the mines that are in the way and then and hopefully we can just use our uh, almost said freeze spell what I meant to say is a shock uh, bomb and then walk up our troops to where we need them to be okay let's go ahead and get this rolling all right uh, okay too sad that we didn't take out the rocket launcher with the barrage but that's a okay all right let's go ahead and use two barrages over here ah dingles okay now we're out and what was i gonna do again um i also wanted to clear out the um i wanted to clear out the bombs here but i think i'm just gonna drop my critters to do that instead of uh spending the uh barrage energy or energy on the barrage so let's go ahead and drop the troops right over here immediately shock this situation and start walking up this way you guys now we're gonna have to keep shocking and now let's go ahead and start no 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 why can't i layer why couldn't i layer my smoke screens that's so pathetic and that was just a little too sloppy but now actually let's walk right over there and continue to cover my guys up because my zookas are about to become exposed and vulnerable so i don't think we lost too many troops i definitely lost a few zookas so here is the entire base you guys and now we are standing by the hq and there is nothing in our way nothing but the smell of victory okay so down it went it was super easy i don't know if he's trying to drop the peas or what the deal is but that was definitely an an easy easy win and look at all the loot that we got you guys all right let's check it out what did we get we got two victory points all right i only lost one heavy and five zookas that's not so bad at all i was way overestimating my losses all right now let's go ahead and um grab my let's first of all start the retraining because we got more raiding to do and let's grab our reward over here. I'm gonna grab the wood and I'm going to grab the stone. And now let's open the supply chest. Ooh, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go for more wood and now see what we can upgrade. Um, ta -ta -da -da. Well, you know that I want to keep upgrading my landing crafts and that means I am about 17, almost 1800 diamonds short. So I think I'm gonna go on and do a bit more raiding, you guys. Or I suppose I could also upgrade my statue storage, which could be pretty useful. But you know what? I'm gonna stick to the original plan where I just need to keep on pushing my landing craft upgrades and then the HQ upgrade. And uh, yeah, getting to the next level, baby. Once again, thank you for checking in with me, you guys, and watching my uh, mid-level boom beach gameplay and hopefully you find my gameplay entertaining and uh, helpful i will see you guys in the next episode by which point ooh, oh okay by which point hopefully i will have another landing craft at level 18 and until then you guys dt is out